Beat Basics here. I want to welcome you back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in with your girl again this week. I hope that you had a blessed week. I hope you got all your Christmas shopping done and I hope you're just ready to wrap everything. Unless you're like me, you still got stuff to buy, which I'm sure that's majority of us. But anyway, that's a different story. I want to thank you so much for tuning in with me this week. If you're new here, thank you for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button on the way out. And if you're not veterans, thank you so much for coming back. What's up? <laughs> okay, so today we are going to be getting into it. I am telling you right now, I am so upset at the makeup community right now. How we have been sleeping on these beautiful palettes to me is just, I can't even, I have no words. That is the one of the most amazing palettes that I have heard nothing about practically. I went online looking for swatches, a little bit of reviews, barely anybody's talking about it on the tube and on IG. So I had to bring it to you. You guys must know what I'm talking about, right? The Estee Lauder SD Edit Gritty and Glow Duo Palette, the Magnetic Palettes. These things are just absolutely gorgeous. I can't believe, like I said, that nobody's been talking about them. I was contemplating buying them and because I didn't hear anything, I thought maybe they were bad. Not uh, not the case by any means. I have been playing in these bad boys since I got them. I have not been able to put them down. The face palette is just as gorgeous as the eye palette. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch both of these gorgeous beauties for you today against my chocolate skin tone. And of course, you know, I had to come up with an eye look so I could show you guys how amazing these colors look. And of course, you can see that I'm not wearing any highlight today, which is very unheard of for me. You guys have no idea how hard it was to do my makeup without putting on some light, but whatever. So I'm about to get any swatches of the eye palette as well. So without further ado, let's get into swatching these gorgeous babies. Okay, so first up before those swatches, can I just talk about how adorable the packaging is? This is the back, of course. You have your face palette and you have your eye palette there. I like the fact that they have the ingredients here on the back. You have it on here as well for the eye palette and it is the Gritty Glow Palette, as you know. I do love the fact that they are separate, but they are magnetic, magnetic, so you can stick them together and use them, basically flip one side over and use it, flip the other side over and use it, and not have to worry about kind of fumbling around for it. So I do like the fact that it's a pretty um, sturdy magnet on it as well. So as you can see there, I am absolutely in love with this. The eye palette itself has just got the most gorgeous colors in it. I can't get over how beautiful the colors are. One thing I'm not a big fan of is the fact that it comes with this insert that actually has the names of the shadows on there. I wish they had just gone and put it on the palette itself. It would have just made life so much easier. But I guess it's okay for these kind of cardboard palettes to have your, uh, your insert so you can kind of keep it, you know, keep your eyeshadows protected. So I'm not too mad. I just wish that the colors were printed on the palette itself. But regardless of that, I am absolutely loving the fact that it has a nice good mirror on here. Excuse my fingerprints. So if you want to travel with it, that's good. But look at those colors. Can I just say, ugh right? I'm going to be swatching each one and every one of these beautiful colors against my chocolate skin And if you can tell, tone. I'm not wearing any highlighter today because I wanted to go ahead and actually do some live swatches with you of the face palette, which has all of the highlighters in there. Same big gorgeous mirror, which I love. And it has all these beautiful colors in here. I am a fan of each and every one of these. I can pull off each and every one of these colors in some way. They're just gorgeous and I left my face bare so that I could do some live swatches on my face because I'm trying to incorporate that into my videos a little bit more because I'm trying to break out of this comfort zone that I'm in right now so that I can actually start doing tutorials because I have gotten a few requests to show some of the eye looks that I come on here with and so yeah I'm trying to break out of my little uh, box <laughs> so I can get comfortable with doing my makeup on film so this is gonna be my first time trying to uh, show you sorry showing you guys these these highlights and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my face to show you that all right because they are beautiful I am gonna also show you swatches on my skin tone just so you can see all of them together but yeah I'm gonna swatch a few of these on my face just so you can see how they lay down because they are absolutely gorgeous okay believe me you will not be dissatisfied all right so let's get into this wavy which is this beautiful green color right here it's just so beautiful i absolutely love this color when i first saw it i thought it was just a gorgeous green on its own but when i actually swatched it i noticed that it has a bit of a shift to it so when you move it it's like there's your green but then it kind of shift kind of shifts into this blackened green color as well as this bright green i just absolutely love that so yeah, this one was a total winner for me when I saw it. You know I fell in love, right? And of course, here is your brush swatch of that gorgeous color. Okay. 
Isn't she beautiful? I mean, really, look at her. I love the little shift that it has to it. I love how beautiful these col beautifully these colors lay down. And like I said, they're so buttery soft, so nice on the eye. Love it. So there is way to me is probably one of the most beautiful colors in this palette is Trip. This is a gorgeous duochrome blue duochrome color. I love the fact that it shows really turquoisey on film right now as I'm showing to you. When you swatch this bad boy, the shift on it is stupid. I mean, look at that. It goes from purple to blue, a strong purple to blue. I really hope that that's picking up on camera, a really strong shift of purple to blue. It's gorgeous, absolutely love it. And this one is not lacking in pigmentation at all with a brush or your fingertips. Look at it, it's gorgeous. I mean, really? Do I need to say anything else? The color is just really, really pretty. Of course, it's not gonna be as pigmented as when you use your finger, but still with that brush. Did you see that? Yeah, the color is just amazing. Okay, so there is your palette, all of the colors side by side. Absolutely beautiful. As I said to you, um, with the black color, it's a little more on the faint side. So if you like your blacks a little bit more faint when you're trying to smoke out something, you don't want that in your face black, this will be up your alley. Um, if you're in, in the market for a very pigmented black, you probably won't like this one too much. As I said to you, it does have little flecks of gold, sorry, silver and blue in there, which is very sparsely spread out. So I don't mind that at all. I think it's great for your typical going out look. Okay. Then the, the blue color here, which is called Trip, which is like I said, is my most favorite color in this whole palette. I absolutely love it. You have Wavy, then you have Burn, Riff and Swerve. Just absolutely beautiful colors. With all these colors, just as a sum up, um, I would say that they all have, uh, they all do have little bits of glitter in it. Very sparse. I don't think that it's too much in your face. It's not too much shine, so I didn't mind it at all. I think it adds exactly what you need it to add, need to add to it to give it that extra oomph for your, um, smoky eye look. So yeah, for me, this palette is a total winner. I absolutely love it. Except for that black color mood. I am not too much of a fan of that one. I thought it was going to be a little more pigmented, but like I said, sometimes it's necessary to have that type of black. So in a whole, I really love this palette. And there are all your colors. All right. It so also let's get into let's the face into swatching that yummy face palette. So we're going to be starting off with Snow Lit. That's the name of the first color in the palette here. Hope you can make that out. It's kind of a whitish kind of color. It seems like it has a bit of pink in there too. Not sure. This is my first time swatching it. Really pretty. I would definitely use this kind of color for my inner tear duct or something like that. But it's really, really pretty. It has a little bit of a kind of a weird shift to it, like white, but it has like a pink or gold thing kind of going on there if you can see it. Let me use my brush. And of course, you know I'm going to be going in with the Anastasia A23 for the brush swatches, of course. And here she is swatched right beside it. Ooh, okay. Really, really faint. Nothing showed up too much. Oh my gosh, that's not good. Oh, okay. Okay, see off-camera dolls, it shows really, really pretty. It, oh, it does have a pink shift to it. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that pink shift that's coming off of this. It's really, really pretty. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. Let me go in just a little bit more. Maybe I can get a little bit more on the brush and kind of show you how beautiful this color really is. Oh, I absolutely love it. Oh, this is so going to get worn for my inner tear duct. And on top of another um, highlight, this is going to be great. I hope it's picking up the pink shift, but anyway, that's okay. So next up is your fourth color in the pa in the palette here, which is called Gleam. This is a beautiful, dirty, dusty rose color for your highlight. This is not a color that I normally see. I think it's beautiful. I think it swatches beautifully. It's on the cool side, but it's also very deep. So for my darker skin ladies, if you like your cool tone, kind of borderlining on silver undertone highlighters this is definitely going to be up your alley because it's right up mine and i absolutely love the finger swipe that i get off of this it's gorgeous so of course you know i'm going to go in with that brush stroke so i can show you what's up i have actually i have actually gotten the chance to wear this one already and i think it is just beautiful the color payoff on this is just gorgeous look at that See, you've got your cool tone. I just love how it spreads out. Some people might think that this is a little bit too um, 
faint. I think it's perfect. I love the color tone on this. Perfect for my for my taste. Okay, so okay, that is Okay, so clean. last up in this gorgeousness of a highlighter palette is your color Beachy. This is the most beautiful copper toned bronzy highlighter that I've ever seen. For me personally, I don't think I would wear this just on its own. I might use it as a blush topper or something like that. I think it's just beautiful. And for my chocolate, my, you know, deeper chocolate sisters out there, you know, NW55 and up, uh, yeah, this is gonna be something fierce on your skin tone. I absolutely love it. And you know, for you other girls out there who just love to just throw up a punchy highlighter on things, this is gonna do it for you. It's super dark. If you're fair, I think this would more go for a blush. But you know, do you, girl. There's no rules in makeup. And of course, here is your brush swatch coming of this beautiful color called Beachy. I absolutely love it. I think it's gorgeous. In the summertime, I could definitely pull this off when I get a little more chocolatey. But look at that brush stroke. Isn't she beautiful? Let me put this down so I can show you. Isn't she gorgeous? Like, I mean, really? Can you go wrong with these? You can't. I think all of the colors on this palette are universal for every woman of every skin tone. We can all pull it off. It's just beautiful and we need to have it in our arsenal. Hands down. I don't have anything else to say in regards to owning this palette. You need to get her in your life. Okay, boy, both of these girls in okay, your life. So okay, so for the face palette, all the colors lined off here. Your first color is Snow Lit. Okay. The second color is 14 Karat Glow. Then you have First Light. The fourth one in is Gleam. Your second to last color is Ray. And your final color is Beachy, which is just gorgeous. All of those colors, like I said, they're all beautiful. I think they're all completely universal for all women of all skin tone. We can definitely pull this off from very dark to very light. I think this was a really great... Um, uh, collabor no, not collaboration, but a really great uh, duo palette that uh, SD Edit came up with. I absolutely recommend it to all my gorgeous dolls out there. You must get on this because, of course, like I said, it is limited edition. I did still see it in Sephora, but go and grab it before it's gone. Okay, so let's get into some face swap. saw me playing with these colors on film there I really love how they laid out and I just probably went a little bit ham just now but I'm gonna just show you what um, I did okay I did it on my cupid's bow on my lips on my nose on the tip of my nose just under my brow my cheekbone and I mixed those colors up I absolutely like I said love the way the colors mix because I put the uh, fairer color of the two which is 24 karat glow i put that one right here on top of the color ray which is that color right here so those both of those colors mixed together i absolutely love the way it came out the lips might be a little bit overkill because i went in with a little bit over top of my lippy 
sorry I had to but anyway I just love these colors I think they're absolutely beautiful I can't say enough honestly if you get a chance to get this palette like I said excuse my friend my visitor doesn't want to leave me but by next week believe me she'll be blasted and gone but anyway yes I want to thank you so much for tuning in with me this week